Hola, hola, amigos y amigas. Espero que estén muy bien. I hope you're doing very well, having lots of fun at home. So, amigos, this week's color of the week, color de la semana, is all the colors, todos los colores of the arco iris. And here we have our arco iris, and we have played with todos estos colores, all of these colors. Rojo, anaranjado, amarillo, verde, azul, y morado. We have played with todos estos colores, and now we get to play with them together. And the way that we're going to do that today is we're going to make a little colibri. Colibri. So this is a colibri, or a hummingbird. My son Nayu and I made this colibri, and we are going to make another one together. So colibri is a very special little bird. Uh, some people believe that the colibri was made to give messages from inside one person's heart to inside another person's heart, especially good messages. So they say that if you see a colibri, a hummingbird, it means that somebody somewhere is thinking good thoughts about you. So we love the colibri very much. Sometimes they also call the colibri the pica flor or the chupa flor because it sucks on the flowers. It gets the nectar out of the flowers, correcto? Okay, so para hacer este colibri, to make this colibri, you will need pintura, especially rojo, azul y amarillo. Tal vez, maybe a little blanco también. You will need una brocha, tijeras, un rollo de papel de baño y un algo con que escribir, something to write with. Okay, so primer paso, first step, is we make a line about a third of the way down. So mamas and papas or niños and niñas, you can find not halfway, but a little less than halfway. And we're going to make a line all the way around. Muy bien. Once you have your línea, you take your tijera. So this might be a job for mama and papa, or maybe for niño or niña, depending. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make one cut. We're going to cut up to the line, okay? Then we turn the rollo over, and exactly on the other side, we make cut all the way up to the line again. Okay, now you have dos mitades, two halves. Now niños and niñas, you can decide which half you would like to be the face and the wings of the bird and which half you would like to be the tail feathers. So for the tail feathers, you're going to make several little cuts. So they're going to be skinny, you're going to make little skinny feathers. So I'm going to do maybe like uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, so I have my cuatro little cuts and I'm going to fold them. And these will be tail feathers of the colibri. So for this part, we're going to make three cuts, three even cuts. So, uno. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to have, we want three sections, so we're going to make two cuts. So just cut here and cut here. Okay, so I have tres secciones. Uno, dos, tres. Three sections. Um, on the two outside sections, I'm going to cut a little triangulo, a little triangle, to make it pointy. So just like this, all you have to do really is just kind of cut off the corners. 
um, mama and papa or grown-ups, you could also draw a little triangle on the tip so that the kids can cut it. Okay, I made my two edges pointy. Now this top part is going to be the cabeza of the colibri. So I'm going to fold it down. A doblar. Sometimes the toilet paper roll can be a little tricky for folding, but you just have to be persistent. Okay, so I folded it down, and then I'm going to make a bigger, pointier triangle for the for the nose and the beak of the colibri. Guess it's not very big. Nice and long and skinny, right? Just like the colibris. Long, skinny, pico, or beak. Okay, ya está. And then these two pointy ones on the side can fold down, fold down, and we have the wings of the colibri. And it's okay that your line is showing because we're going to paint over it. Okay. So, niños and niñas, I'm not going to paint this whole colibri, but I'm going to paint some of it, and I'm going to show you how I mix the colores to make new colores. Because here we have, right, these are called primary colors or colores primarias. Rojo, amarillo, y azul. And with these tres colores, we can make all the colores. El arco iris, all of the colors of the arco iris. So we're going to play with them a little bit. So I, when I painted um, our other uh, colibri with Nayo, we used this picture. Mira que bonito está este colibri. Isn't it beautiful? And look at how many colores it has. I see morado, amarillo, azul. This looks kind of like café. And a little blanco. Very, very beautiful. And I decided to make our colibri a little bit like this one. So we're going to start by painting right here under the wing amarillo. Nice and simple, amarillo, abajo de las alas, underneath the wings. So, to make my amarillo, and I'll just do one side to show you. And of course, you can paint your colibri however you like. This is just a fun way to play with the colors. Okay, so to put, I'm going to do amarillo underneath the alas. Just a little amarillo. Bien. Now, vamos a ver. I'll put my brocha in my agua. So let's see what other colors do we have here? What other colors do we do? So I'm going to try to do the primary colors first, which means the primary colors are amarillo, azul, or rojo. So what other primary colors do we see here? I see azul right by the cuello. I also see azul on my mano. Look at that. The azul on the cuello of the colibri. So I'm going to find the cuello or the neck of the colibri and I'll make it azul. I also wonder, it looks like the top of the cabeza of the colibri is also azul. So let's do a little bit of azul. Let's see, I'll find myself a good brocha. And here's the cuello of the colibri. And I'll paint it. And again, niños and niñas, I won't do all my painting now because I don't want to make our video too long. I'll just give you an idea. I'll cover up my línea. You don't have to worry about that. And then the cabeza. I thought in the cabeza it was sort of like a little bit azul and a little bit verde on the sides. So I think I'll just make a little bit of azul uh, in the middle of the cabeza. First I'll finish my cuello here. And then maybe I'll just make a little azul in el centro of la cabeza. And when I'm done with this video, I'll finish my colibri. And you guys can finish your colibris. Okay, so I have my azul and I have my amarillo. Do you see any rojo on the colibri? That would be our other primary color. Do you see any rojo? I don't see any rojo. What I see is verde, right? I see verde here. And I see verde, I think, can't see it too well, but I think the back of the bird is also verde. So, if we have 
our three primary colors, rojo, oh, perdón, rojo, azul, and amarillo, how do we make verde? Any ideas? Bueno, para hacer verde, to make verde, we mix amarillo y azul. So you have two choices, niños. You can, at home, you can mix these paints together right on your plate or whatever you've got your paint on, or you can mix them right on your colibri, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to make verde for the panza and the espalda, the back of the colibri. But I think for now, I will just do the panza to show you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip a little bit just in the corner of the amarillo and a little bit just in the corner of the azul. If this gets tricky and it's hard to dip just in the corners, you can mix your azul and your amarillo right here in the middle and then you'd have a nice green. But watch what happens. Mira que pasa. Se mezclan y se mezclan and it makes verde. And now I have verde on the panza. I'm going to do a little more. Poco más amarillo. Poco más azul. Got to have the panza. And the fun thing about mixing right on your colibri is that you can kind of let the colors blend together because on this colibri, the real colibri, the colors kind of blend together, right? Like the amarillo mixes with the verde and the azul. So we can try to do that a little bit on our colibri as well. I'll do, a, I'll do poquito más, a little more, and then we will move on to the ala. So there we go, mas o menos. I will finish my colibri when this video is over. Although I think I will do the cabeza as well. The cabeza is kind of verde amarillo, right? Looks like there's a little amarillo around the eyes and a little verde. So maybe I can put a couple little like little little bit of amarillo here, a little here, and you don't have to do this niños, but you can if you want to. And then I'll just do my verde and the cabeza too. So I'll mix my amarillo, my azul. And look, it makes a nice verde. And if it mixes with the blue, that's great because that's how it is in the real colibri, right? Everything's a little bit mixed together. Oops, I painted right over my little yellow spot. I can fix that in a minute. So there, more or less, más o menos, we have I'm going to add my yellow afterwards. I think that'll be easy. So I got a little bit of yellow here and a little bit of yellow there. There, and then we have the cabeza and the colibri. And when you're done, you could also, you could paint some ojos on your colibri and make it even a little bit of a face. For now, I'm going to leave mine the way it is. So, ¿qué color eran las alas de atrás? What color were the tail feathers? Me, it looks like morado. Entonces, how do we make morado? I'm going to get a fresh brush. I have a, I have a lots of brushes here, niños y niñas, but if you only have one brush at home, you can just use agua, right? And rinse it in between different, using different paints. So, to make morado, what two colors do we mix? Rojo y azul. So I'm going to do the same thing for my alas, for my alas de atrás. I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, rojo, a little bit of azul. I'm going to paint my ala. And let's see what happens. Oop. So I found the purple, the morado, is a little bit harder to make than the, um, the verde. But there we go. There's a morado. It's very dark. Una cosa que puedes hacer. One thing you can do if you don't want your purple to be so dark is you can add a little blanco to your morado. So let's see what happens if we do that. Put in a little rojo, a little azul, a little blanco. And look at that. Ooh, it makes very pretty colors at first. And let's see what happens as we mix together. Ooh. different kind of morado, a lighter morado. I like it. I actually like the mezcla. So I think I'm going to do, when I finish this after this video is over, I'm going to do this color morado and then this color morado and then this color morado and this one. And that will make kind of a fun, two different colored tail feathers. 
y luego, and then, niños, we have these wings. So what color are the wings? ¿Qué color son las alas? They're sort of café, right? That's why we call them café. So café was not on our arco iris, and it's a little bit trickier to make, but Nayu and I experimented. And we found if we just kind of mixed everything together a little bit, it made sort of a café color. Also, if you have a favorite color, you could do that color instead. For example, you could try to make your wings anaranjado. So let's do that. Just for fun, let's try to make anaranjado. How would we make that? What, which two colors would we mix? We would mix amarillo y rojo. So let's try it. Vamos a probar. Let's, even though in the picture the wing of the colibri is café, let's try to make it anaranjado, just for fun. So, voy a poner un poco de amarillo y un poco de rojo. And again, amigos, you can do this at home, right on your plate, if you would rather. And I'm going to mix it on here. Ooh, look what's happening. It's making a little bit of anaranjado, but I don't know if you guys can tell this. It's actually mostly still rojo. So what can we do to fix that? I think we can add a little more amarillo. Vamos a probar. I'm going to dip in a little more amarillo and I'm going to add it right on there to rojo. Ooh, it's still pretty rojo. A little bit anaranjado, but I want it to be more anaranjado, so I'm going to add más amarillo. It looks like you need lots of amarillo to make anaranjado. Ooh, ahora sí, it's making a pretty anaranjado color. Muy bien. And there we go. We've made anaranjado, we've made morado, and we've made verde. Now, I'm going to say adios, and I'm going to finish painting my colibri. And when you're done, if you guys do this at home, you can put your colibri inside the flowers in your garden or somewhere else, and you can enjoy um, the flowers. You can enjoy sucking the nectar from the flowers. So, espero que se divierten. I hope you have fun with all of the colors of the arco iris. Adios, niños y niñas.